Hey guys, how's it going? This is iHi, and I'm here to bring you a tutorial video on how to fix your NAT type failed issue on your PS4. Now, I had created another video in the past on this issue, trying to explain what I did, what I ran into, how I fixed it, but unfortunately, it did receive quite a bit of negative feedback because uh, either A, uh, it didn't make sense to them because uh, I was quote unquote being vague, or B, and B, the the whole gaming you know video game uh in the background was distracting and people thought i was just misleading them on how to fix it so i decided to create another video straight and simple to the point on how to get this fixed now this is only applies to me and the specific netgear brand router later on i'll basically go over how to go about fixing it on on other types of routers so to get to the point you want to go to the advanced tab then you want to go to the setup option then WAN setup and you'll find this screen here uh, as you see on, on your screen two different things you want to change in order to maximize the network performance on your PS4 the first one is make your PS4 the default DMZ server this is going to allow the PS4 to basically allow all traffic to and from the ps4 without restriction so that way you don't have to worry about any port forwarding settings you know trying to find what the specific port is for the call of duty service or, or whatever game you're playing instead you're going to say hey allow all traffic to go through it without restriction the only thing you need to do on this page is change the ip to match the ip address of the ps4 you can set it to whatever you like, you know, I mean, people's IP addressing schemes are different at home, but for me, I change it to 192.168.1250. It's an internal IP address. It doesn't mean anything to the outside world. The, the external IP address is the one that you need to be careful about and, and showing to the public. Um, the second thing that I have changed, and this is, was the game breaker for me, was the NAT filtering option. So right here, NAT filtering option, you want to change that to open instead of secured by default the netgear router changes it or i'm sorry it doesn't change but by default it's set to secured and by secured while you do benefit from additional security it's gonna end up restricting or causing some um, negative behaviors on the network when you're playing uh, multiplayer games like call of duty uh, i personally uh, have not experienced too many issues while this was under secured but when I try to run the, the network testing on the PS4 it would always fail in the NAT type and that didn't sit very well with me so after trying some things out I, I found out that this particular setting was the cause of the NAT type failed issue so make sure you set it to open apply your changes let the router reboot and then after you do that power on your PS4 Go to the network test settings, uh, connect, uh, test your connection, and then you should have at least a NAT type 2. If you have uh, a NAT type 3 for some reason, then it's possible that you're, you're probably running off on wireless and you may need to work on that bit before doing, you know, changing these options. But these options will greatly help your network performance on the PS4. The last thing, and it's an optional thing, is this setting option, disable SIP ALG. This specifically applies to voice over IP phones out there. And unless you have that type of system at home, don't even bother enabling it. You can disable it. It's not gonna hurt your network in any, in any way uh, unless you have a voice over IP system. Um, so what's the point in having it on, right? So just disable it. Um, so that's pretty much it guys really this is all I did straight to the point there's no confusion the only thing I suggest is if you don't have a Netgear router you're gonna want to consult your manual on whatever brand router you have you have a Cisco or Linksys or um, you know I, I, I don't even know what other brands are out there but some of those brands may not even have this NAT type filtering setting if you don't have it, then don't worry about it. There's nothing that, there's nothing more you can do. Now, what I suggest, and this is probably applied to 99% of the routers out there, 
is you want to change your PS4 to the default DMZ server. I understand that some people are a little bit paranoid and they want to set up their port forwarding settings, but if you really want to get results fast, just change your default DMZ server to the IP address of your PS4. Um, other than that, you know, I don't mess around with any KOS settings, although I could, but there's really, uh, there really has not been a need for me to do that. Um, obviously, if you have a, a NetDuma router, then you have more uh, control over network settings, but, you know, not most of, most of us can't really afford a NetDuma router, you know, it's like 200 bucks, and, you know, I think, um, personally, the, the Netgear brand routers have been very, uh, good for me as far as performance was concerned. Okay, well that's it guys. Thanks again for listening and again I apologize if my previous video did not make any sense so I decided to make another video to help support the cause. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below. I'll also link another video on how to set your PS4 to the default DMZ server. If this didn't make sense I did create another video in the past on how to go through all that and, and I actually, actually went through some testing to show you exactly how it works and the results of that change. All right, well, in the meantime, take care, guys. Have a wonderful week. See ya.